Hi, this is Jenny from the lab, and on this video, I'm going to talk about Max. Max. Not this Max, I meant this Max. M A C S. That stands for Magnetic Activated Cell Sorting. So, let's go. So, what is Max? Max is a sperm selection technique that can be used to improve the overall quality of the seminal sample by removing the apoptotic sperm cells. And by apoptotic, I mean those sperm cells that are destined to die. Apoptotic sperm cells externalize their plasma membrane phosphatidylserine, which has high affinity for annexin 5. And this affinity has allowed the design of the sperm selection technique called Max. And why do we perform Max? Based on several studies, the potential benefits would be better fertilization rates, better pregnancy rates, lower DNA fragmentation index, and improved semen parameters like motility and morphology. And how does it work? Before we start, we perform a sperm count, as we need a minimum of 100,000 sperm cells per milliliter to a maximum of 50 million sperm cells per milliliter. And if we have more than 50 million, we just have to dilute the sample to avoid clogging. And it's recommended to process the sample by density gradient centrifugation or swim up to obtain the motile sperm cells. Once we obtain the pellet formed by the motile sperm cells, we resuspend it in 100 microliters of max art annexin 5 reagent that consists in magnetic microbits conjugated to annexin 5. Then, we add 400 microliters of max art binding buffer that helps the binding reaction between the annexin 5 reagent and the apoptotic sperm cells. And we resuspend. Then, we have to incubate this mixture for 15 minutes at room temperature. And the magnetic microbeads that are conjugated to annexin 5 will bind to the sperm cells that externalize phosphatidylserine. We add the max art separation unit, that is a magnet, to the max multistand. And then we place the max art MS column in the magnetic field. And then we rinse the column with 1 ml of max art binding buffer. The milliliter of max art binding buffer will be discarded. And we place a new tube. Then we place the sperm microbit suspension through the magnetic field. And the apoptotic sperm cells that will be attached to the magnetic microbits conjugated to annexin 5 will be trapped in the column by the magnetic field, allowing the viable cells to pass through. Max art binding buffer contains calcium, which is known to activate the oocyte. Therefore, it is important to remove the max art binding buffer from the viable cell fraction. So, we centrifuge the cell suspension. Then, we remove the supernatant completely. And we resuspend the viable sperm cells in appropriate buffer for its use in assisted reproduction.